Hello and welcome to the Performance Physique Podcast. My name is Arj and I am your head coach. This podcast is all about helping you with your running, your nutrition and your training. We take the jargon out of sports science to help you realise your goals faster than ever before. Let's get started. It's uh, 3.23. Let's welcome back Arj Terry Chalvam, shall we? Founder of Performance Physique. He's been our resident London Marathon expert. He himself, of course, is a sports expert. And he was very kind to join me yesterday at the finish line. Arj, great to have you back on the show. What a glorious, Hello, glorious London Marathon yesterday was. It was fantastic. Oh, it, was, it was amazing, wasn't it? What an occasion and what a great weather, even though it was a little bit chilly at the end there. Yeah. That's a good point. I remember I was moaning to you, wasn't I? I was like, oh, I can't feel my fingers now. <laughs> <laughs> and I went and got a coffee. <laughs> uh, yes, you did. Um, so when we were on air yesterday, you said that the first 24 hours when you've completed London Marathon are vitally important. So let's delve into that conversation, shall we? Why? Yeah, so we've we've trained really hard and we've thought really carefully in the build up to the marathon. Um, but as soon as you kind of finish those last few miles of the marathon, a lot of changes are occurring physiologically in, in your body and the immediate recovery is going to have a, a massive factor. And the, the first real things that we can start to do are our nutrition and the, the, the fearsome stretches that we need to put our body through over, over the next couple of hours. So if we look at nutrition, we know that carbohydrates, those starchy things, um, we've eaten a lot of them in, in the build-up to mm. the marathon, but they're really important now to recover. So you need a lot of those potatoes, rice, pasta, those kind of foods to help re-energize those stores of energy that you had prior to, to running the marathon. And you also need your protein. So sources of protein, meat, fish, there's vegan sources, dairy, loads of different sources, but basically having a big rounded meal and having a few of them over the next 24 48 hours to ensure that you kick start that recovery it's quite important uh, throughout all of this you've always placed a key importance on nutrition as well as training haven't you Arj? yeah, yeah it, it is really important it's, it's it's something that we can control quite easily to be honest you know we we may find it difficult to get to the gym we may find it difficult to fit in every single run but we can control the the things we eat and ideally how many times we we get to eat unless we're on a a shift etc but we know that these factors in the first 24 to 48 hours are going to have big 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 uh, effects on the human body and so what about the age-old question of when can you just get up and start running again? Is it a case that, you know, <laughs> tomorrow you can think about your next 5K? How long yeah. should you be waiting? How long do we need to let the bones rest, basically? Yeah, so, I, I mean, I was walking around the city this morning and I saw people running and I was thinking, I think you probably ran the marathon yesterday and you're out running already. That's a bit too soon. Really? We yeah, we need to be waiting an absolute minimum of seven days to get running again. Okay. Um, we can take things very slowly in that first week, but to get get to a very slight jog, you know, this is what we call zone two running, the heart rate's really low, we need to be waiting about seven days to, to start that. And even at that point, you're only doing a couple of runs in the week, really, really easy and really short in duration. Okay, so don't just get up and start running. No. Um, but then what's the whole point? Some people might be tuning in thinking, but I have always thought as a marathon runner that I need to keep moving. So what do we mean by that then? If we're saying take it easy for the next seven days around running, what do we mean by moving? Should you just be going for brisk walks? Is it just a lot of yeah, stretching? Yeah, yeah you, you're a coach yourself, Shay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I Every, wish. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's plan at this moment who's, who's a client of mine they've got loads of stretching in their routine they've got some brisk walks in there and then towards the end of the week we're, we're asking our guys to go cycling again really easy not uphill not mountain bike or anything like that just mm. jumping on a, a bike or jumping into a swimming pool and again it's only 20 to, to 35 minutes at this time and then when you can actually start running it's something which you can easily hold a conversation so we're not we're not running very quickly at all you can hold that broken conversation with a friend that you're running around the park with for, for 30 minutes say 
And then weeks three or so after the marathon, that's when you can really start training, um, training again. And the reason this is all so important is that we think of our recovery as those aches and pains that everyone kept coming up to you uh, after the marathon yes. saying they could feel already. We are actually thinking about cellular damage that's occurred. So this is the stuff which has happened inside your body. Mm -hmm. And this kind of um, damage, it sounds awful saying the word damage, but the cellular damage exists for about 196 hours after the marathon. So it's a whole week. Um, and even though we can't feel it, it's occurring. So we just need to be really careful about how quickly we return to intense exercise. And just finally then, Arj, what should you be doing around the next 30 days? So come 21st of May, where should you be at? Is that when you can really start thinking of running, you know, on a longer haul, whether that's um, 5K, 10K, another mini marathon or whatever it may be? Yeah. So for, for now, let's prioritize our recovery. Let's mm -hmm. be really good about our stretches and let's make sure that we're doing some light exercise such as that, that swimming, that cycling. And then we can start to think about, you know, are, are we doing a half marathon somewhere at the end of May? That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And you might have already entered the ballot preparing for next <laughs> yes, year. Yes, yes. <laughs> so the, there's the, all of those factors. You can start training and if you're you're really, really keen... You can absolutely start training in three weeks' time and just give yourself a little bit longer to build up. And, you know, the, the build up to your next major event might be 12 weeks. So if you say from now, find an event in 15 weeks and you're going to be in absolute perfect tip top condition for that day. That's what we want for all of our London marathon runners. That's for sure. Arj, it's been a real pleasure over these uh, last couple of weeks to get all of yes. this expertise from you. So from me, from the team, thank you so much for, for really just being so insightful. I think there's a lot of food for thought that's helped many that have been training. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll turn our heads towards the Olympics now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. We'll take one step at a time, but definitely we'll be up for that for sure. And people can find you, can't they? Very simple. Performancephysique.co.uk for more details. Absolutely. Yes. Lovely. So head to that website. And as ever, thanks again for all of your sport expertise here on Radio London. Arge. Pleasure having you on the show as always. Thank you. Have a great week, Shay. You too. Thanks, Arj Terrichal from there, sports expert, performancephysique.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening to the Performance Physique podcast. Don't forget you can find us on Instagram. It's at performance underscore physique. You can find us on Facebook, Performance Physique, or if you just head to performancephysique.co.uk, we'll do our very best to help you mean the world to me though if you can share this podcast with one friend this week right for now take care <laughs>